So, my dear learners, uh, in this particular video, uh, we will uh, discuss uh, two important questions as a part of frequently asked question here. The very first question is, uh, what are the key challenges facing software engineering? And uh, the second question is, uh, what are the general issues uh, which is faced by the softwares normally? Okay. So, the answer for the both the questions uh, looks like a similar uh, concepts or uh, the similar uh, um, uh, factors are over there, but still we will try to discuss uh, these two questions in a different uh, pattern. Okay. Uh, just have a look at uh, uh, the very first question here, what are the key challenges facing software engineering? So, there are uh, three different uh, key challenges that we have identified over here. The very first one is uh, coping with increasing uh, uh, diversity, second one is uh, demands for reduced delivery times and the third one is developing trustworthy software. Okay. So, these are the uh, three important key challenges that we have identified that uh, every so uh, that software engineering is going to face. Okay. So, as a software industry, whenever uh, any company is going to develop uh, any software, then normally uh, it has to deal with uh, these three key challenges. These are very basic and generic uh, key challenges. Just have a look at one by one over here. One is coping with increasing uh, uh, diversity. So, this particular challenge is going to deal with uh, increasing diversity in the sense today as all of us know that the technology is so rapidly changing okay? uh, that you might have already experienced and we are experiencing in our day to day life technology is so fast it is changing. Okay. So, imagine today if you are developing software with one technology, by the time you finish up your software that technology might have already outdated. Sometimes it, it may happen because uh, whenever I will start developing any medium or little bit large scale software, it may take uh, 2 to 3 years. So, when I am going to start using any existing technology, by the time I will finish up overall software development after 2 years that technology might have already what gone. So, it, it might be happening. So, that is the reason that uh, we, we have to cope up with that increasing diversity. Okay. And even today in the market you can observe there, okay. uh, we, we are coming up with uh, a systems with different categories, different hardware architecture, different uh, uh, software, different technology, okay, all those things. So, ultimately if you are developing any software, you should keep it in your mind saying that okay, this diversity should not affect your usage of the software. You, you cannot say that today I have developed one software and it will be working only on uh, uh, say some uh, Windows operating system. Okay. So, that should not happen, that then it becomes a limitation of your software. You cannot say that my software is going to work only on this particular processor only we cannot work with any other processor that you cannot tell. Otherwise, what happens you, you, are, you are going to lose the market, you are going to lose the, the customers. So, that is why the, the, there are there are so much of diversity is there in the current uh, world okay, with different technology, different hardware configuration, everything, but your software should cope up with all such kind of diversity. So, that is the meaning over uh, here. Okay. And even today, we are all using internet, hope all of you might have uh, come okay. and uh, just have a look at there, I am using, uh, uh, there are thousands of people using thousands of different mobiles with the different versions of uh, the operating system in that or it may be a laptop or it may be a PC of different companies okay. and uh, your uh, overall architecture is different. Okay. The software or operating system that you are using in your uh, Mm, systems are different, the browser that you might be using is might be different, but still we are all able to browse what a variety of many of the websites. That website will never tell that I, I this website cannot be opened under uh, so and so. Just have a look at over here, this, this, this is the best example. Okay. So, and the second one is demands for reduced delivery time. This is also a very important challenge. Just try to understand over here what is the challenge here demands for reduced delivery time. See today we are in a competitive world. If I am going to delay for some time, my competitor will come and he will grab the market today. 
just see there there are thousands of software industries are there they, they are all developing a similar kind of softwares whoever will finish up the software first whoever will release that to the market he can grab the market he can attract the customer so that is why delivering the software is also what uh, it should be as quickly as possible you, you you cannot spend more time you cannot waste the time over here okay this also a competition is there so th 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 that is the point over here that is called as what demands for reduced delivery time see today i want one software and i will approach some company if the company will tell that it it, it 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 will take one year and some other company will tell that no problem we can uh, deliver the software within 6 months then automatically i will approach another another company why because their delivery time is what very less so automatically one company is going to lose the customer over there so that is why in this competitive world delivering the software in a very quick time is also what a big challenge okay and the third one is developing trustworthy software this is also very important okay so if you want to create your own brand in the market okay your software should be trustworthy the customer should believe in your software that's very important just uh, i want to give an example see there you, you all of you might have heard about fair and lovely since so many years that fair and lovely is there in the market and till today it is there with the competition of what so many different variety of creams might have come into the market but still there are some set of people who wants to use what fair and lovely it is just because of what the trust those customers having on that particular brand the the, the, the same thing should be there applicable for your software also today if you are developing a software the customer should be there always with you by keeping that particular trust in his mind yes this software quality is good it is going to provide the functionalities which are very much useful easy to learn easy to understand okay everything and uh, security okay and uh, safety with respect to all these concerned we have to build that trust in the customers okay that is called as what developing trustworthy software otherwise you, you cannot survive in this competitive world in the market okay so that is why these are the uh, three important key challenges that facing uh, our software uh, uh, engineering okay so the next question is uh, the general issues the general issues that affect the most uh, uh, software is the concepts uh, the uh, points over here looks like uh, similar but with different um, uh, titles over here so what are the general issues uh, that that are going to affect our uh, most of the softwares here the very first one is heterogeneity okay just now uh, in the previous uh, slide uh, i was talking about the diversity diversity is going to directly deals with the hetero heterogeneity heterogeneity is nothing but today uh, see there if i am going to develop one software today i i cannot restrict my software so that uh, the software will run with only one particular set of hardware configuration then automatically my software is going to get flop in the market okay because there there is an heterogeneity okay the, today what is happening there are so many different companies are manufacturing uh, dif with different technologies those hardware devices under all these hardware device circumstances my software should be capable of what uh, capable of running my software that's very important okay we, we cannot restrict our software with some particular set of architecture this it's a very bad um, idea so that should not happen okay but this this is also very important issue that uh, every software industry needs to look into this heterogeneity means uh, today if i am going to develop a software it should uh, compatible with any type of uh, the hardware uh, technology that might be exist in the current world okay and second one is business and uh, social change so today what is happening Uh, not only the technology is changing even my business process is also changing my societal needs are changing okay end users are expecting somewhat their requirements are what changing so in the in the very beginning also we have told we, we cannot use any software uh, with the same functionalities for a longer period okay today if we have developed one software for one particular business we cannot say that the business will run similar 
in the same year for next five years. For every three months, my my business might be changing. As per my business process will change, my software has to undergo what change. So that's the reason that every time we used to tell that changes are inevitable. We we cannot say the clients not to change our business process just because I need to change my software. It, it's highly impossible. Okay. So as the uh, end user requirement will go on changing, as your business process will be changing, as the societal needs will be get changing, my software has has also undergo what changes. So this is very much uh, essential. This is also very important issue. Then the third one is security and uh, trust. Just now I told. So this is very important. Trust means it's a kind of building a brand name in the mind of what the customers. Okay. And apart from that, another important factor today, we, we, there are so many critical activities that uh, we are doing with the help of software today. The the very best example is uh, our financial activities, especially uh, look into the the banking software today. So uh, till date, till today, you might have experienced many of the old people. They don't want to use the ATM card. They don't want to use the what you call this uh, internet banking. Why? Because still though they they don't have got that uh, trust on this uh, the available softwares. They they want to go with their old manual methods. They want to visit the bank physically. They want to do the transaction there only, and uh, after doing that, they will ask the employee to get the printout of that passbook. It is, uh, okay, but but that number is decreasing. But how, how it is possible? It is possible only when the software which are being developed is going to create a kind of trustworthiness in the customers. Okay, so we we all know that um, today how we are using the net banking. And today, the digital payment, Google Pay, Phone Pay, all these things. So, with what guarantee you are all using all these softwares? That that is called what the security and what the trust. It's also an important uh, issue, especially for what the softwares are uh, concerned. And even with respect to when I am talking about the other Aadhaar and all those things, there are so many issues that will come into picture. Okay, how about the security of my personal data? Uh, or th there are so many different issues that you might have come across in the even in the social media also. So these are all. Uh, it's also very important aspect and issue related to what the software is uh, uh, concerned. Okay. So hope uh, you have understood uh, this particular um, uh, topics over here. Thank you.